Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to uh, how to filter data in ASP.NET Core how to filter data in ASP.NET Core this is the simple term you can use using jQuery so here we have a group of items like uh, according to the category wise if you want to see how to do this in uh, ASP.NET Core how to uh, show the data using category wise you can say by the category wise so you can say that fast food here we have three items in the fast food category in the south Indian uh, category we have the only single items and the meal here we have one item just I want to show only the fast food items so just uh, filter that data on the basis of the category so here we select the fast food item so here we have only three items in the uh, this and the other one is the uh, hide now just I want to show uh, South Indian foods only so here we have South Indian foods and meal only so here we have meals and show all so I mean to say that there we have show all so these are the filter items in the list how to do this in using jQuery in USP.NET Core so uh, you know that uh, this is the simple representation of your category wise data and if you want to see um, uh, these types of data in ASP.NET Core so just open my uh, video uh, channel and this is the previous video tutorial you can see for this types of uh, video okay so uh, just filtering out and just go for your index page your home controller and the index index page that is areas okay so here we have now in the jquery method just go for the jquery first of all first of all uh, menu filter is the id property of your list item okay i mean to say that uh, this is the id property of this this there this is the list items so your all food fast foods south indian foods and meal these are the menu items so here we have a menu filters li i mean to say that uh, this is the items where we have a category there is the menu filters and here we have id property uh, that is the li okay that th this is the tag you can say so okay uh, just i want to select it so here we have menu filter li dot click function just we when we click on this uh, li item just i want to click on this fast food so you can say uh, menu filter dot li dot remove classes that is uh, active btn btn secondary and this dot add class active btn btn secondary i mean to say then when we click fast food then class will be activated on this button that is a secondary class of the button okay now after that selected filter this I mean to say that uh, this I mean to say that uh, select fast food so suppose so this is the fast food okay and data equals to search what inside in the data search data is the terms of the data filter so here we have a data search and inside the data search you can just add category name so what is the category name right here so here you can say the category name is the fast food so here we have a category name that is fast food okay so you can say fast fast food in the selected filter so class is the fast food you can say there is the class name dot selected filter dot fad in and all items in the 300 seconds okay i mean to say that uh, three seconds and online food is the class where your all food items that is from here to here i mean to say that's your all first of all and here to here all these are in the online food items you can see uh, so here we have online food items
bordered uh, rounded this is the class okay this that is the name online food and all these item are actually inside it in here online food so first of all online food is uh, online food is fed out and after that the selected filter only that is fed in so that is the thing you can use for the filtering data in asp.net core so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and jquery thank you very much